This video was made possible by EA Game Changers. Thanks EA! Hi guys, my name is Gina Jemskal and welcome to a look at the Holiday High Rise live event in The Sims Free Play. This live event is released with the Holiday High Rise update which is released at 8am on the 4th of June 2019 and that is AEDT time so make sure you convert that into your own time zone so you understand when it is going to be released for you. If you haven't got this content and it is past that time Maybe just go into the app store, make sure you've got the latest version of the game. And this live event will be released as soon as the update starts. So as soon as you get the new update, you should get this pop-up. The Holiday High Rise live event, it's nine days long. Everything your Sims need for a dream holiday getaway. Claim the grand prize to gain access to the holiday condo location at the Sea Voyager in Simtown. Collect craft items to unlock new prizes and choose the ones you want. So we have got another live event. We're all pretty used to these live events now. With these live events, if you're not familiar with them, I think most of us are by now, but if you are not, you do get a little tutorial. Just follow along and it will just guide you through what you need to do. Basically, we've got to craft an awful lot of arts and crafts items. Once you have crafted your first candles, you will get your little icon up in the top left screen which will take you through into the main grid for this event. Now with the preview build that The Sims 3 Play have given me, I have unlocked everything, they've just taken me all the way along. So this is everything that you will unlock as you go along with the event. And here is the grid here, as you can see everything has been unlocked for me and you can see all of the various prizes as we go along the top there that you are going to win as you collect more and more arts and crafts items and the grand prize there is the holiday condo once you have unlocked everything. I will scroll down just so you can see the prices on all of the different prizes and see how many candles, how many constructor coins, how much pottery, everything that you need to purchase these items. It looks to be some really nice flashy little things here. Oh, look at that bath. I'm liking that. Vista views. Oh, floor to roof windows and doors. Excellent. And there you can see the holiday condo is locked at the moment because I have to purchase all of the previous ones before that becomes available to me. I always recommend with these events to do the shortest time possible. You have four different options with all of the crafting stations. And I also recommend to do the 2 hours and 30 if you can. It gives you the most arts and crafts per kind of hour. Obviously if you can't get on the game that much you want to you wanna kind of think about it. You do have to pay these. I think that these live events are getting harder to be honest. And I think that you do have to really think like when can I next get on the game. So like overnight obviously you want to do the 8 hours and 30 minutes. Or maybe you want to do the 6 hours and 30 minutes depending on how long you go to sleep for I suppose. But generally, I go ahead and do the 2 hours and 30 minutes, and you also want to check in as often as you can. Like These live events are extremely time-consuming, because you do get the bonus items that pop up above their head, and those bonus items really do add up, and I think that you really do need to collect those to be able to complete it all and get the grand prize. Another tip is always make sure that you are collecting every single daily reward every day because these constructor coins really do add up that you get for completing the daily goals. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to purchase all of these items and you can see now that we have unlocked everything we have access to this holiday condo. This sensational island condo vacation location is just a hop, skip and boat ride away on the Sea Voyager in Simtown. Your Sims can't move in but they can visit and customise the lots. We will check that out in another video. I will link that down below so that you can see what the holiday condo looks like. But let's go ahead and take a look at all of the prizes we have just purchased. We are in the home store and you can see there's 50 new items here. That we have won. I am just going to take a look at them all in the new items but obviously they will be all around in the home store. As always with these we get one free first one. We're going to take a look. I'm going to place them with you and then you can see what they cost after we place the first one because I think I say this in every video at the moment with Sims Replay but the prices are really getting skyrocketed. I think that it's getting a little bit ridiculous to be honest with how much things seem to be costing. I, this doesn't seem 
to have changed, to be quite honest, 126,000 simoleons for a door. Seems crazy. Let's place that down. These are like really nice items, but just so expensive. Unbelievably expensive. We have some of these long slides. I really do like the sliding door. Oh, that's really long. Didn't fit. How many across is that? That's six across. Wow. Are they all in? You know, we don't just have, we have them in black and we have them in silver. Okay, so we've got, so a, a one by one. The black ones are simoleons. And then these silver ones are LP. Honestly, I prefer the uh, the black ones. Now let's see, double. I'm going to struggle to fit all of these in. I'm not going to be able to fit that long one in. Right, let's, I mean, it's the same. Now, do you know what? I'm going to make another. Let me just add a little room on here so I can add it down. And long silver sliding. Um, there we go. So they're all the doors and they, the doors and windows, I should say. And that is the prices. Pretty, pretty expensive, I think. And let's see. So we've got sleek oak bed. Oh, wow, look at that. Oh, that's can we place that up against the windows? Yes, we can. That's nice. 245,000 after the first free one. And we have a white version. And then we have this spa. Oh, look at this. That's nice. Hang on, let's spin it around like that so that two people can get in it. We have a black one and we also have a white one, sleek grey lamp, sleek beige lamp, you can go on the bedside tables there, as I said you can see the prices as I'm placing them down, we've got brick, is this indoor, this is indoor brick, that's, that's nice, dusty grey brick, black corner TV, oh this is our first corner TV, let's take a look, oh yeah, I'm loving that. And then a white corner one. Sleek white sofa. We might have to start moving outside to place these things down. The beige sofa. Black coffee table. And then a white one as well. What else do we have? An oak amenities shelf. Ooh. A moody blue conch floor and I assume yes it can go up on the dresser a white amenity shelf place that out there and a royal gold conch can they go on the yes they can go on the so they kind of go on the edge which looks a bit silly but they can go on the tables there a white chair beige chair. I thought that maybe they would kind of connect up with the other ones, but they don't. That's fine. An oak service cupboard. Oh, I like the sound of that. I'll look at that in a second. Bronze piece lily. A black luggage rack. There's quite a lot of items actually here, isn't there? A silver piece lily. A white luggage rack, white service cupboard, we've not really got very much space, <laughs> let's place, let's place that outside, a blue rock pool painting, oh nice, well that can go outside, outside and inside, yep, yeah. bronze tropical vase, can go on the floor or on a table, there's so many items, right? A sleek black desk. A sandy conch painting. An oak toiletries tray. Place that there. Oh, I've missed the silver tropical vase. And the sleek white desk. Okay, let's place those down. And pine... Wow, there's so much. I feel like this is the most prizes we've got for a while. Let's place the sinks. Black and white sink. Towel rail. 
another towel rail and a corner shower. Ooh. Let's give that a... And there we go, that is all of the items. Hopefully you saw how much they all cost as well. I do like these windows that floor to ceiling. I think that, was it the chalet ones that they had? That I think that when I see lots of people's bills, the chalet windows and doors are very overused. I think people do kind of like this floor to ceiling look. I definitely do. Let's take a, take a little look at these. Oh yeah, look at the sliding doors. I love that. Let's take a little closer look then. So, the bed, that's really nice. They're so big though, aren't they? These like three across beds. And then obviously this has got the back as well. So they're even extra bigger. Just the normal, the normal interactions obviously with the bed. I love this, uh, the conch there and the lights, everything. It's kind of spot on with this. It's my kind of furniture to be honest. I really like it. Let's try to have a little look at this black spa. So we can do the usual, usual things. And we can also wait for a steamy session. So let's, let's put him in there and let's bring someone over. Have we got anyone else that we can bring over? Can we do a male, male steamy session? No reason why we shouldn't be able to. No, we can't. Do we have to be in a relationship with someone? I think maybe we must have to be in a romantic relationship. He has not got any romantic relationships with anyone. So he's not going to be any good. Is there anyone that is married to anyone else? <laughs> okay, I'm working on a bit of a relationship. We'll come back to the steamy action in the bathtub in a little bit. Let's just continue looking at all of the other items we have. This luggage rack, look at that. Can we interact with it? Oh, oh, we can interact with it. It's just like a wardrobe. So that's pretty cool. I wasn't expecting that to be honest. I mean, obviously they're like the plants we can't interact with, but they're very pretty. And then outside, look at the shine on that table. That's crazy. The chairs, you know, the sofas and the chairs, they just interact with as normal. This is not something we can interact with. But it looks very, very fancy, very, very nice. And then on the table, look at the shine. Not things that we can interact with, but very nice looking. Very nice looking indeed. Oh, look at that! I love that. A little ironing board, a little safe. White service cupboard that acts as a wardrobe as well. That's amazing. Let's open that up and look at this corner telly. Oh, I'm not click on the corner telly. There we go. I mean, you just interact with it as in like a normal telly, but I like that we have going to tell you now what something I would love is to be able to place furniture diagonally I know that people have done it with glitches and things but I would love that that would be a thing that we could place how nice would it be to have that telly in the corner and then have a sofa like opposite it and I don't know that would just look really nice I'd love that but at the moment we can't do that but maybe maybe soon maybe soon let's take a little look at the sink I love these sinks, really nice sinks, and then the little towel rails there, quick rinse in the shower, that's a nice shower, a very nice shower, so we just need to check out the bathtub. Romantic relationship sorted, so let's try this steamy session in the tub. Click one sim in and then the next sim join, steamy session, 15 minutes. So there you go, that is that interaction there. And that is all of the prizes that we get with the Holiday High Rise event. If you are interested in seeing that holiday condo, make sure you click the link down in the description for a tour of that. But thank you so much for watching. Good luck with this when it comes out. I hope you managed to complete it. Let me know down below in the comments if you do. Thanks for watching. Bye. <laughs>